we got another one that's gonna piss off the whole of Ireland, guys. Today we got how the deposit return scheme works. So this is a news talk special, okay? And this is basically talking about how they're adding extra levies to the cans and bottles in the country. I think it's like 25 cents. Basically just another government cash grab. Okay, absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna break this one down. This lady here, I don't know any of their names or anything, I don't really care, but this lady here, guys, she has some kind of sense, but everybody else in this show is absolutely whack, like just horrendous. Oh, they actually allow comments, guys, so we're going to read a few after this one. So, the new deposit scheme for plastic drinks and bottles and al uh, aluminum cans launches today, but how will it work? So, the Minister Ocean Smith, what kind of name? Minister of State with Responsibility for Circular Economy. An absolute, <laughs> dude, there shouldn't be a minister for that. I'll just put that out there. There shouldn't be a minister for that. Kira Kelly on News Talk Breakfast, they explain it all. News Talk only has 73,000 subscribers. County Gaines has 75. Guys, if you want your news, just come to the news of County Gaines, man. We'll talk all about it, man. Let's get it. Briefly for people listening this morning, how's this going to work? Do you see that this will be something that people will keep an extra bag in the kitchen or something? And, and no. And bring things back yeah. in bulk? Or is that how it works in other countries? Yeah, that's how it works. And people listening to this show, a lot of them will remember. Not to hate on this guy, but guys, but I heard a famous quote before. It said, never trust a man with a lisp. <laughs> that's tough, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Let's go that we used to have a deposit return scheme for, for glass bottles. So drinks used to come in glass bottles. Your lemonade, your TK or whatever it was would come in. Uh, TK lemonade is the worst drink you can buy in Ireland. Like, it's shocking. A black glass bottle, and it said on, on the bottle, there is a deposit on this bottle. That dates back to the 70s and 80s. But then it became uh, it became possible to put drinks into plastic bottles. It was much cheaper. They got rid of the, the deposit return, and they started to end up uh, on the ground. And leading into your hometown, if so that is just his opinion guys we don't know if it's ended up on the ground or not you know there's no statistics to show that more plastic bottles are on the ground than glass bottles you know that's just that's just made up guys all right that's just not true if you talk to the tidy towns people in your village they will tell you that leading on along the grass verges they are full of plastic bottles and aluminium cans everywhere. Uh, so, so he said, if you talk to the tidy towns people, well, that's just, that's just, you know, some guy saying something sometime. I mean, that's not evidence, guys. All right. So they're ending up about 400 million of those cans and bottles are landing up on our in our landscape every year. And I think that the vast majority of those, if we reach the same recycling rate as the rest of Europe, will be gone. So we'll have a cleaner Ireland. We'll have cleaner streets, cleaner lake shores, cleaner riverbanks. That's the promise. And that, so there's a benefit for all of us in doing this. OK, so so and I and I, I take your point. No one and no one likes seeing filthy verges or filthy ditches or that kind of thing. And people throwing their, their rubbish around the place like litter. So you think I've lived in Ireland my whole entire life, my whole entire adult life. Never once have I thrown bottles on the ground, guys. Just put that out there. So don't be blaming me for that. Because I would never do some crazy stuff like that. You know, never litter. I don't think I've ever littered ever in my life. Ever. Ever. So, that's just me though. I don't know. I know I used to give out to my friends. Like, they used to throw their bottles and stuff out the window. Or the, the soup max or whatever. That's insane, guys. Don't do that. If you do that, you're kind of like... I mean, you're kind of... I mean, it's not great. You know what I mean? I think people will bulk their, their plastic bottles. They will bulk their, their cans at home in their houses. And, and then return them feed them into the machines and get the voucher for Tesco or, or, or wherever it is. Um, what about the other things that you would see in other countries? And, and, and just what did you expect this to happen here is I know I've, I've been in cities, say in New York, for example, and you'll see people, perhaps homeless people and things like that. They actually carry giant bags full of plastic bottles and cans and things, and they use this as a way of of getting a small amount of an income and things like that. Is that what happens in Europe too? Will we see that here? Is, is that how this works as well? Thrifty people will pick them up. From Children the bins, will, from the ground. I mean, if you're walking to the shop to get something and you're passing by some bottles and cans, of course you'll pick them up on the way, and I pass them all the time. Uh, For 25 cents, guys, and living in one of the richest countries in the world, and nobody's going to pick them up. Relying on homeless people to pick them up. So that's what the Green Party is going to do for homeless people. <laughs> Let them pick up bottles. Oh, that's that's for, that's nice. And um, children will pick them up. Uh, certainly, I'm sure that I'm sure that homeless people will pick them up as well. That, that's a that's a thing that happens. So yeah. so there are there are there will continue to be people who will say again, I'm guys. Just saying the homeless people are going to pick them up. I mean, that's just that's just hearsay. That's not actual truth. We need a statistic to show that. There's no. That's just, you know, 
a hearsay. That's just him throwing out a statement. We don't know if that's true or not. That's not, you know. I'm going to throw this bottle out the window of my car. I'm too lazy. I don't care about the money, but there will always be somebody else to pick it up. So those are the kind of streams that, that, that will return, like the unforeseen streams, perhaps, that will return these, these bottles and cans back to the thing. People will keep them in their car. You know, if they're particularly if they're on the go, you know, and then they'll bring them in. People will have them in their kitchen. They'll bring them in. Do other countries shopping. mostly use what we're going to be seeing here, which is a voucher system? So if I bring ten bottles back to to Tesco and I get twenty five centies, I've now got two fifty as a voucher for the retailer. Is that the same as other countries, or do other countries more likely give you cash? So you 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 are entitled to cash. I just wanted to say that everybody's entitled to cash for your for your voucher. You don't have to spend the the money that you get back in the bottles in the shop. Uh, you're entitled to cash. You can go up to the cash register. It's one of the rules of the scheme. One of the laws that we. So put if in. I get a voucher you, from my re re return reverse rather vending machine for two fifty, yeah. I go up and I say, I'd like that two fifty please because I actually cash. want to go and spend that somewhere else. They have to give you cash. Okay. okay. Now, I mean, most people in practice are, are going to do some shopping while they're there, but that you're entitled to cash. One thing I want to say to people is that if you've been hoarding bottles and cans in the past, you won't be able to bring them back in. Who has been hoarding bottles and cans in the past? Like, who has been doing that? Like, I haven't heard of anybody in Ireland ever, ever in my whole entire life that does that. Like, what? What? So on the first, this is the first day that these new bottles and cans with the deposit logo on them are there. So there's going to be a couple of weeks where the old stock is being sold off the shelves. And they don't Once have the gone, right barcodes. And they're not charging a deposit. The one, the, exactly, they don't have the right barcodes. So there's going to be a period of time where some of your bottles will be returnable and some of them won't. But with it, within a few weeks, they'll, okay. it'll, it'll So will be. there be a period of time where some cans of Coke in a supermarket will cost... One euro yes. and what some will cost one twenty five yes, exactly. or one fifteen. Okay, so. yeah. Again, it's just another government BS levy, guys. Like I literally, if I was ever in power, guys, I would get rid of all this stuff. Everything, man. This is horrendous, man. Charging more to the people for what? This is just ridiculous. Complete just nonsense. Oh. This is a changeover. It's like the euro changeover. People are going to be absolutely capable of doing this, and there's a lot of skepticism. No, oh, it's it's just another change. It's just another law. It's just another. It's just spend more money to make the government richer. It's just it's just another thing, bro. I mean, these guys who have lisps and can't even speak properly run the country. It's just, oh, Lord save me. Will someone please be elected that's proper? This is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous, guys. No, no, I, It'll I, be I, confusing, but I think people Irish people want can to do know this. the practicalities. Um, lots of texts coming in for you, Minister. Um, oh, this one is interesting. Big problem with this return scheme is you cannot return cans or bottles that don't have the barcode. But this is the case with six packs of beer, water, or other soft drinks. Is that true? Multi packs. So the law is that from that that from now on, all the producers have to have to, can only sell products that have or can can only produce products that have the have the barcode. So multi packs will be taken in on this. So multi packs will be taken in so on this. So that's not okay. We'll, ha we'll have we'll have fewer multi packs of small bottles because it, it, it because there'll be so many deposits on it on those tiny bottles that go one bottle for every day for a child to bring to school. That kind of product is going to disappear now. Okay, well that's interesting and probably not a bad thing. Uh, so thing so. Just less freedom, less now little plastic bottles. Maybe if you want to go for a little hike or something like a 10 minute walk. Yeah, just let's just get rid of everything. Okay. Ronan makes a really interesting point here. He goes, what happens, can you please ask the minister, to the fee for cans and bottles that are not returned? Does it go to green initiatives or does it go into the pockets of the suppliers or the supermarkets? So it goes into the pockets of the politicians. Let me answer that one. <laughs> no, I bet. What, what, wait, wait for this one. You, you pay that 25 cent extra on your thing, mm -hmm. but somehow that never gets back to anybody because it is it, it does end up in landfill or something. What happens to that money? So we expect 10 percent of people are not going to bring them back. So that, oh, that's 10 again. Just another arbitrary, you know, number that he just picked out of his head. We expect 10% of people not to bring them back. Where did you get that number from, guys? You, people watching, and I know the Irish public is very smart, but a lot of people aren't, guys. They don't understand. They don't pick up on these nuances. When this guy says stuff, it's not true, guys. Like, oh, we expect 10% of people not to bring them back. Well, I probably won't bring them back. I buy, I go to, like, random shops and stuff, and I just buy, like, random bottles of stuff and... You know, I buy like these big bottles of Ishka, which, by the way, the best Irish water, man. This is the best Irish water. But I buy this, I buy this Gatorade shit because I love it, guys. I buy it from some local, you know, Arabic store or whatever. And like, you know, I don't really buy these little bottles. So the guy saying that everyone's going to bring them back, I don't really understand that. So that's not, what if you don't want to do this? Like, what if you don't have the time to be doing all this nonsense? <laughs> what? 
10% of deposits that are then used to pay for the trucks that take away the, the bottles and cans from, from, the, from the supermarkets and also money. So if you don't do this scheme, then it pays for them. That's what it's telling you. Paid to the, to the shops themselves, uh, a handling fee for taking back the bottles and okay, cans. Gotcha. So they need to be paid for, for, for putting in machines, for collecting bottles for and cans. Service. You need a little handling fee. They get a couple little of- Little handling fee. So that's if there's 10%, but he just made that number up, guys. So what is the real percent? Maybe it's 90% of people won't do it. So then it's basically just all going to them. Money into their pockets. Good scheme, guys. Get rich scheme. There you go. Cents per can or bottle. That's okay, what pays so, 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 so that- It's the people who don't recycle who pay, who pay for the scheme. So there you go. If you don't go along with our laws and our rules, then you get slammed. Thank you. I mean, do you guys not understand? This is just freedom getting taken, bro. I, people can't break down what they're saying. This is just ridiculous, guys. Okay, so that's the scheme is, is self-funding to that extent, is it? Uh, well, there's also a large contribution from the from the producers. They are, they must pay the, the the bottling companies who make these cans and bottles. They have to pay thirty million euros a year between them uh, to, because they are putting all this this material onto the market. So they have to pay for it for for the fact that it, that causes pollution. I've heard a lot of people ask this question. Bro, they're gonna stop making nice drinks. Oh. They might even start getting rid of like iron brew and all these like, you know, drinks that aren't really like, you don't find abundance of, you know, you don't find an abundance of. We're just going to have Pepsi and Sprite. Question about I don't drink Pepsi or cola. This scheme. Can you please ask the minister why they didn't put the barcode on the underside of the cans, which would allow people to compact their return cans rather than having to keep them intact, which would make them easier to bring back and smaller. And that's from Joe and Limerick. But I've heard a lot of people talking about that. Okay, I think that's a good idea. We look at that in version two. I was very keen to launch the scheme on time on the 1st of February, the first day of spring. I'm very happy that it is launching on time after all these years. Uh, and I made sure that, um, that it had a minimum spec. We're going to do a version two. If people have ideas for what they'd like in the next version, I'm happy to. So, so you are open to jo Joe from Limerick, I, but I have heard other people. How about for version three, we just get rid of it completely, guys? <laughs> like, what is this, bro? Please, can somebody get voted in that's like not, <laughs> let's know, this guy? We'll say it. That yeah, certainly, able, certainly, I'll look at it. Being able to squash oh, it down would be... A, so a, when you put it into the machines, they, the, the machine compacts it and puts holes in it to stop people from taking them out the back of the machine and putting them back in again. So, so they are they are crushed, yeah. I was actually quite uh, excited, Minister, because I had a look at the website this morning and when I asked them where I could get in my locality yes. a reverse vending machine, it wouldn't tell me earlier on today. Yeah. It's just told just me now. Live, so it's it? just gone live. So it actually is all up and running very nicely, actually. It's given me my nearest one, which is pretty good. Um, good morning, folks. Will the new refund machine accept cans and bottles without the return logo, i.e. older ones? But you've addressed no, that no, so no is the answer. No, it won't. Yeah, no, it won't. Yeah. A um, couple of things. We did an Amora poll here on News Talk around all of this. So we got some results, Minister. Seven out of 10 people do plan to use this scheme, which means that three out of 10 don't. That would be lower than, than other countries. But do you think that's... So three out of 10 won't. So he said 10%. So he, did he just lie? Is that misinformation? We don't know. There's no statistics out in the world or in the EU. Maybe there is. Maybe the Environmental Protection Agency has some numbers but he said 10 percent. they said 30 percent. so who's correct so it could be 50 percent. it could be 90 percent that won't use it you know i don't know i don't probably won't going to use this guys you know what i mean it's just maybe teething problems no i could that's a projection for what people are, are guessing they'll do in the future i expect nearly everybody is going to use this when you go when you it, I, again guys hearsay i mean this is not like professional man he's just expecting people to do so i expect there to be you know Flip a nice, you know, weather tomorrow. Well, that's just your opinion. That might not happen. In the same way that we got used to bringing our bags to the shop when you go shopping, people get will get used to bringing back their empty bottles and cans. Um, the other thing is, is why is there more regulations, man? Can we have less laws in this country, guys? The more the more laws that the government creates, guys, the less freedoms you have. Just put that out there, guys. It says that over half of Irish adults would recycle more with something like this, but it says the over fifty fives and Dublin residents are the least likely to be keen on this. Any, any reason why Dublin would be, would be a poor place for recycling? I don't think so. And I think that, that you know, before a scheme like this, there's often a lot of um, healthy scepticism and a lot of political debate, and it actually makes the schemes better. And I think that people are going to be surprised when they see how popular and successful it is. Minister, for the circular economy... Well, I guess we're just going to have to take his word for it, guys. <laughs> for anyone that has, you know, an opposition to that, drop it in the comments down below. Tell me, guys. Is this the worst scheme you've ever heard of in Ireland or is there worse ones? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you all, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.